Hey Cancer, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. This will be your bonus weekly love tarot reading. So uh, this can be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It is a very general reading. All the info that you need is below uh, Cancer. Otherwise, feel free to browse the channel for your other readings for the month. Um, or we'll jump into it, reading some reversals as well. Uh, Cancer love let's see what's coming up for the week cancer 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 okay all right the long-term vision or long-term planning is a bit obscure so something's potentially a little bit foggy here you're determined to seek answers potentially cancer knight of wands you're impatient or impulsive to it's almost like you want to see what the future holds or you need to know where your connection is going romantically. Okay, you're coming up as the chariot card, Cancer. So there is potentially a very strong connection around you that's really evoking a lot of emotion. Now, it can be with a fellow Cancerian because the chariot card does represent the sign of Cancer. Um, so this is you, but you're... <clears throat> You're coming up as someone who wants to move things forward, um, but it could be someone that you're connecting with. You're maybe not getting the same vibes as this person, and it's almost like you're questioning the future. Now, the Three of Wands often represents, you know, looking to the future, looking to the horizon. You know, we've still got a long way to go, but we look at the journey ahead and we're determined to make it. But this is reverse T Cancer. Some of you may be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Sag, or Leo, and they may be exhibiting this sort of behavior where they're not really, um, not that there's a lack of excitement for the for where your connection could go, but it's just a little bit obscure. Or for some reason, you may not be feeling as secure emotionally with this person because the Ace of Pentacles is reversed here. This is all about stability and consistency and going through the doorway. It's almost like you're about to move um, into the next phase of a connection, Cancer, but for some reason, it doesn't seem to be happening. I don't know if it's like um, finances or things that may be stopping you, like moving in together, dating, taking a holiday. Um, it could be financial things or it may just be uh, an earth sign here, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, um, who's exhibiting this sort of behavior, uh, an earth sign. Um, but that ace is reversed, so someone's not... You know, normally when we see that hand of God with the ace, um, the pentacle, it's about stability. It's about being really, um, really secure uh, and, and having something serious. But there's someone's not either making you that offer or you're not feeling like they could give you that stability. The five of ones would indicate that you're not necessarily fighting about it. Upright, it does indicate a lack of um, cohesion. So a bit of dysfunction, a lot of opinions. This is even competition. So I don't think, you know, the competition card is reversed, Cancer. So for a lot of you, I don't think it's the fact that this person is interested in someone else or you're faced with stiff comp competition, uh, like you have to compete for this person's attention uh, or love or commitment. I don't necessarily think it's that. Uh, I think it's more to do with, I think it's more to do with, you know, keeping an open mind with the world card. They're trying to stay open for some reason. So there may be someone here you're connected to romantically. Um, with the world card, they're trying to keep an open mind. Um, and it's almost like they want that element of freedom because that's what the world card can represent. Um, you might be feeling a little bit differently. You know, you know, you're coming up as the chariot here. You've got the headlights and you saw almost shining it onto the world. So Cancer, you might be at a different stage in this connection. It's almost like you're ready to share this person, share your connection, become exclusive, tell other people. But perhaps on some level, you feel like that other person um, isn't as willing with the with the world card, isn't as willing to share this connection just yet. And maybe there's an element of them not being ready. But I do feel with the three of ones, it could indicate like um, lack of planning for the long term future somehow. I think you it's you that's potentially steering this connection, Cancer. I always consider it somewhat auspicious, the fact that 
when you come up as your own sign and you have come up as the car here. So um, you're the vehicle, you're the driving force behind this connection, Cancer. So uh, really, a lot of it is depending on you. Um, now, the argument card is reversed, so I'm guessing that perhaps some of you aren't really arguing about this and maybe you're okay with taking things um you know, taking things in your stride and you getting behind the driver's seat of your connection, maybe that's maybe that's okay with you. Maybe that's sitting all right with you. You don't mind doing that. You don't mind being the driving force. Um, because again, the Knight of Wands brings a lot of energy. So there's a lot of energy that you're bringing into this connection, um, but also excitement. And the Knight of Wands as a character lives more in the moment, not necessarily plans things um, like the Three of Wands does. So... It's a bit contra um, contradictive, but I think there's someone who wants to be in the moment and someone who wants to plan for the future. And I think you're the one potentially coming up as the one looking to the future, you know, keeping keeping that um, in your sights with the world card that is potentially coming up. Now, for some of you, there could be a new connection coming in um, or someone new, but you don't seem to be making much progress with them. Again, I don't feel it's because of competition. Um, it could be the world card. It could be like an online connection or with someone foreign um, this upcoming week. But you, it's almost like they're not making future plans, okay? Maybe they're not securing a second date with you. Um, maybe they're not even securing the first date. You know, maybe they haven't taken that step to introduce you to their family or friends or, you know, talk about what they want. Maybe it's remarriage. Maybe it's more children um, or, or something like that. Perhaps not taking that initiative to... Um, talk about the future. So I'm going to come back to the notion of the future is obscured, but not so much on your side, because I think you're very confident in what you want. You believe in what you want. And I do believe there's a connection here that you potentially really want to fight for and um, believe that there's something here for the both of you. Uh, but I wonder, um, I wonder what this is that is blocking you somehow blocking you on some level um, into uh, into the flourishing of this connection, at least for the future. But, you know, the world card, beautiful major arcana card, much like the chariot, it can speak about progression, but it's about keeping an open mind. So try to stay open-minded um, or receptive to what this other person has, whether or not you agree with it, Cancer. And I know that's not always easy, but it might be the advice for you uh, this upcoming week in steering your connection and your relationship. I'll leave it at that, though, Cancer. So thank you again for tuning in.